very much. What's going on here? Uh, we are having a town hall meeting here uh, today talking about the election on May 19th and the significance of voting on the ballot proposition so that we can help close our budget deficit and not have to make further cuts to education, health, and human services. And those ballots are what? Propositions 1A through uh, 1F and uh, essentially Proposition 1A and 1B will help us restore the cuts that were done to education. Proposition 1C will help raise six five billion dollars from the lottery. Proposition D and E will allow us to raise an additional billion dollars. Uh, we don't want to have to do deeper cuts to health, education, and human services. And so it's very important that people go out and vote on May 19th. And uh, how are we on the drawing board when it comes to these uh, propositions? Are you been making a lot of uh, leeway as far as... Well, we're definitely working on getting the word out there. My big concern is, is that voters, number one, might not be aware that there is an election on May 19th. And number two, it is rather confusing to go to the ballot and vote on propositions. But the fact of the matter is, is that when voters vote in propositions, the only way for us to make adjustments is to go back to the voters. We need to ask all Californians to help us get out of this economic crisis. And in order to do that, we need your votes on May 19th. And we need you to vote. We need you to vote yes on all of the propositions, Proposition 1A through 1F, and help prevent deeper cuts to education and healthcare.